Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody guys, uh, Happy New Year and uh, today again we will take a look at the euro currency. Uh, actually I think that most interesting stuff in our weekly research stands in the higher time frames. There we have brought some um, ideas, some our, our view on perspective of the euro currency, especially on the monthly and weekly charts uh, because on the daily the tactical view is mostly the same as we have discussed in the last week. But in the longer term perspective, this probably you will find something interesting to you. Uh, the major idea, uh, just in two words saying, is that probably the, those measures that have been announced already by the Fed and by the European Central Bank should be enough to be priced in and push your currency right to the parity. But further action will depend on the fulfillment of these uh, steps and on those inputs that we will get in the first half of the 2017 um, so because this will be the key to the further action because currently guys we see uh, that reversal passion could be formed on the monthly on monthly weekly charts could be extended and it could take forming of the couple of years probably uh, but whether this passion will be formed or not will depend on the inputs that we should get in the 2017 on the United States economy, on the European Union economy. Because market uh, with the, uh, let's say, it's more hawkish uh, signs of the United States economy could push your currency even below the parity. If everything will be according to the expectation and we will be fully priced in and uh, at this, in the moment of the, by the end of the 2017 maybe, the internal United, uh, European Union policy will start to change in the favor of, Euro, of the Euro. In this case, this passion really could be formed. And that will reversal passion on the weekly chart. It's really very large and extended passion. So you could read our analysis to get some more details about it. Well, but right now on the daily video, we will take a uh, view on the shorter term perspective. So uh, as we said, in the medium term perspective, your current stands in the road to the party. And uh, on the daily chart, as you can see, we have the minor butterfly here. On the daily, it's really large, but on the weekly chart, it's minor butterfly because on the weekly, we have even more greater patch. So, with this minor butterfly, we have two targets. The first one stands at one or two approximately, it's 127 extension. And uh, the 1618 stands precisely at the party. So, 97, 98, it's right here. But this target is not really interesting for us because it, it will be it stands below the daily average sold and far below uh, this area. That's why it's not really interesting to us on the coming week. So we ignore it and we'll be focused only on this nearest target. It's one with the seven, one or two. It could be reached because it coincides with the daily average sold, as you can see. Another uh, target on the daily chart that we have. Is one six one eight extension of this A B C D patron. So A B C top is one six one eight target. So all of the, both of them stands in the same area one or two one or two twenty. So probably they will be hit simultaneously. At the same time, guys, we see that on the way down, markets forming very gradual and harmonic upside retracements. So each retracement equals to to previous one, and and current market already has completed. It. As we have discussed on Friday. We definitely know the range of the trading for coming week. So it stands approximately between one or six, that's sale, and flow will be one or two. And this sale already has been hit. So uh, market mechanics here, guys, relatively simple. So if we treat this market from the bearish perspective and we think that it's really a bearish market, so uh, market probably should continue move down because this retracement already has been completed, everything has been done, market hit. Uh, major resistance here in the daily ever pot. Should, should, this should be enough to reestablish further downward continuation. Uh, besides, market really will have the problem to move above this area. 
So if this will happen, it will tell us that maybe market is not really bearish in the short term perspective. That's why this area is very important and uh, this is the key to understanding uh, whether the market is really bearish or not. On the coming week, uh, just keep in mind these moments and uh, on the coming week we will be watching for the some really important areas and uh, possible issues on the hourly chart. So let's take a look at the hourly chart that we have discussed on Friday. Um, as you can see, from the bearish point of view, it's indeed every all targets have been completed on the way up. So market has completed this A, B, C bottom 161A target. Also, this was the target of this head and shoulder special if we will trade it in this manner. Anyway, subside target has been hit. Simultaneously, market has reached daily level one right at the fib resistance. It's one or six, 20 areas approximately the fib resistance on the daily chart. What else should be done? So intraday target has been completed, overbought, and fib level has been completed. So that should be enough for bearish market. And if market is indeed bearish, it should turn down here. So uh, although it could turn down differently, so for example, it could flirt a bit around one or six area. Because you can see here we have new monthly pivot point. So market could form some something like A, B, C bottom, D pattern to touch the uh, monthly pivot point and spend some time inside this range. It could happen, but it should not come above 1 or 650. If this will happen, this will mean that current market is not a bearish, not the bearish one, at least in the short term perspective. So because market will move above the major resistance, above the level, but above weekly pivot resistance, and this is not action that we would like to see from the bearish market, right? So that's why two most uh, major features to watch for. First of all, uh, market should stand somewhere around one or six area. Okay, it should not go above the weekly pivot point, weekly pivot resistance. Uh, but sooner or later, after flirting around one or six, it should drop below one or 485. That's the major area to monitor. I marked with this, now, with this uh, as you can see, text. So why? Because as market, as, f as fast as market will return back inside below this area, inside of this previous consolidation on the hand shoulders, it will mean that retracement up is over. And market is ready to continue move down. This is just the feature of the return back in the previous consolidation. This very important sign. So as soon as this will happen, we will be able to search chances for taking the short to some minor retracement on the downward action that will start to develop. That's the major idea. Uh, for those of you guys who are who were following our Friday analysis, so recall what we said on Friday, the market should show up to retracement. Retracement should be deep and probably it will hit one or five eighty five area, one or six. That's indeed has happened. And after that we expect that market to turn down. So if you have taken position here on Friday, well you probably your task will be much simpler. So you just could move your stop to the break even and what watch will happen. So if market will show some upper action here. Your position will be closed with, uh, without any loss and you will join to others with the expectation of further drop. If market will dr start dropping right here, so you'll be just in the perfect position, so you, you should do nothing. So that being said, that's our view on the euro currency on the beginning of the next week. We watch for price behavior around one or six area. So uh, if market is really bearish, it should show drop below one or four eighty five area. Uh, that's the major point that we will be watching for. Although this drop could be differently, different. Uh, for for example, market could st spend some time around one or six area first. Uh, th the only thing that we do not want to see is the move above one or six fifty area. In this case, this will be not bearish behavior, and that will force us to postpone any short taking on the euro currency. So that's what we will be watching for in the coming week.